Lesson 164. Emparedado. Antonio, uh, here we have the word emparedado, which means sandwich. Are there any other common Spanish words for sandwich? Yes, uh, emparedado is the most common one, but there are other words that translate to sandwich that are used in other countries. One of them, very popular, is uh, the word torta, T-O-R-T-A. Basically, like saying my last name, Orta, but added t a letter T at, uh, at the beginning of the word. <laughs> <laughs> so, torta is uh, very common in Mexico and some other uh, uh, Central American countries. But emparedado is also used there in, in Mexico. Another word that they use, <laughs> uh, you're going to like this, is uh, the word sandwich, which really is the word sandwich, but with a very strong Latino accent. That's also uh, a very common uh, word in Latin America. Sandwich? <laughs> yeah, just like that. So it's like saying burrito. Well, it's not really burrito, it's burrito, but you guys just say it with a very strong American accent. <laughs> Same thing applies for sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go over our exercises together in number one. Yo almuerzo means I have lunch. Un emparadado means a sandwich. Todos los días means every day. So number one will say, I have a sandwich for lunch every day. In number two, el quiere means he wants. Un emparadado de pavo literally would say a sandwich of turkey, but we'll translate that as a turkey sandwich. So number two will say, he wants a turkey sandwich. In number three, we have a question, and the question involves formal speech. Usted and quiere together would say, you want. Of course, here it's a question, so we'll really translate it as, do you want? And un emparadado de pollo means a sandwich of chicken. Of course, we'll really translate that as a chicken sandwich. So number three will say, in a formal manner, do you want a chicken sandwich? In number four, mi amigo está says, my friend is. Comiendo means eating. Un emparadado means a sandwich. Pero means but. Yo estoy means I am. Bebiendo means drinking. And café means coffee. So number four will say, my friend is eating a sandwich, but I am drinking coffee. In number five, the subject of the sentence is desayunar. That means to have breakfast. Then we have a lot of foods here listed. Uh, we have eggs, fruits, and cereal with milk. The verb here is encanta. Le means to him, to her, or to it. And a mi familia means to my family. So literally, number five might say something like this. To have eggs, fruit, and cereal with milk for breakfast is enchanting to it, to my family. But of course, we won't really translate it that way. We'll translate it into English like this. My family loves to have eggs, fruit, and cereal with milk for breakfast. And number six, nosotros almorzamos means we have lunch. Todos los días means every day. Pero means but. And then we have an adverb nunca and the verb comemos. Comemos means we eat. Nunca means never. And emparedados means sandwiches. So number six will say, we have lunch every day, but we never eat sandwiches. And number seven, yo tengo sed is an idiom that means I am thirsty. E means and. Quiero means I want. Beber means to drink. Jugo de naranja literally means juice of orange, but we'll really translate that as orange juice. So number seven will say, I am thirsty and I want to drink orange juice. In number eight, the subject of the sentence is leche. That means milk. In su café means in her coffee. We know that su means her because it's referring to uh, a mother, a madre. The verb here is gusta. Le means to him, to her, or to it. No negates our statement. And a mi madre means to my mother. So literally, number eight might say something like this. 
Milk in her coffee is not pleasing to her, to my mother. But what it will really say is, my mother does not like milk in her coffee. In number nine, I means there is or there are. Un emparedado de pollo means literally a sandwich of chicken, but we'll translate that as a chicken sandwich. In el comedor means in the dining room. So number nine will say, there is a chicken sandwich in the dining room. In number 10, tostadas is the subject of the sentence. Tostadas means pieces of toast. Of course, in English, we'll just translate that as toast. Tus tostadas will say your toast. Con mantequilla means with butter. Gustang is the verb here. That's third person plural, and it goes along with the tostadas. Te means to you, and a ti also means to you. If this were not a question, if it were just a statement, it might literally say something like this. Your toasts with butter are pleasing to you, to you. But we'll really translate this question like this. Do you like your toast with butter?